Hello, my internet's still rubbish. So uh, this could take a while. Um, so I was thinking about what to talk to you about today. And uh, somebody said to me yesterday that I deserved something. I deserve things to be good. And it's always been a really tricky word for me, the word deserve. So I thought I'll talk about that today. This is a random thought after all. And I know it shouldn't be. I know you should be able to say, I deserve happiness, I deserve good things in life. But I find the word deserve just kind of annoys me because then when you don't get those things, you feel you're owed something. And if you're not getting it, it starts getting me personally. I, I kind of get angry at the world because I'm not getting what I deserve or what I am getting doesn't feel like I deserve this. And, and it's been a really difficult week and there's lots of stuff happened and it's been really challenging to not go into that oh woe is me the universe hates me because you know with the car breaking down and then we charged the battery up by me driving it to Aberdeen and when I got to Aberdeen it was snowing and my car's a 4x4 and this one wasn't and so it was like hat in your face from the universe and this whole stuff barreled. I'd been feeling ill the night before, the whole world seemed to be conspiring against me and if I held this thought that I deserved something good in life and all this stuff happened, I, I could get really cross and you could see I can get really cross about it. And I don't think anybody deserves anything. I, I think you make your own stuff. I, I think you make your own niche. And, and it's an interesting, it's like the topic of luck, isn't it? Some people say you can generate luck. And really it's just perception. One of the things I often talk to my clients about when I'm talking about perception is, you know the whole glass half empty, half full thing? So you could take my glass, I have a random prop here. So you could take a glass and you could give me this glass that was halfway filled with water. And I could go, oh, thank goodness for that. Just what I need, a really cool, refreshing drink of water. I was really thirsty, my mouth's really dry, thank you for the, the glass of water. Or I could say, oh right, that's just my luck, isn't it? But everybody else gets a full glass. I only ever get half a glass of water. The fact remains that the glass has been halfway filled up with water. It's your interpretation of that that makes it mean something. And I think the word deserve is like that. I think that's why it annoys me so much is, you know, by feeling you deserve something, you feel the world owes you and it doesn't owe you anything. It's up to you to take what you can, to make your own luck, to create your own opportunities. It's like with the book stuff that's going on right now. I'm doing loads of stuff to promote the book. I, I really believe that the book will be successful. And I believe the book will be successful because it's got a message in it that works really well. I think it's like men are from Mars, women are from Venus. It really changes the way we think, or emotional intelligence. It changes the way we think about the way we think. And I wrote the book because I want everybody to see and to challenge that those standard ways of thinking are not necessarily true. And we don't all have to be stuck with where we are. I've certainly come a long way in not being stuck with where I was. And I never believed I could find a place where I'd be happy in my life and in myself. But I am. I'm happy. And I don't think I've got any luck, you know. And I can look back on everything that's happened in the last few years and say I'm not lucky. And then again, I can look back on the last few years and say... I've been really lucky. I've had a lot of success. I've helped a lot of people. I've got a wonderful daughter and a wonderful husband. And I've got a great business. And I'm doing exactly what I love to do. And having done a job that I hated for six years or so, I really am very lucky. I am so lucky to be able to do what I love to do and to help other people. And to all extents and purposes, be able to um, to make a living out of it, which, you know, it's a bit touch and go, but we'll, we'll get there. That's not through luck, other than I've put lots of hard work in. And it's the same with the book promotion. I will do whatever is necessary to get out there. I'm looking to get on radio stations, to get on TV, in magazines. I will do anything. Oh, this channel, I'll waffle away to the world. I'm doing a book launch in Waterstones. I will do everything I can because out of that, with any luck, I will get a lucky break. And one of those things will stick and the right person will talk about it at the right time to the right audience and suddenly it will take off. And that could take 10 years or it could happen tomorrow. I don't know. 
But unless I'm doing those activities, unless I'm pushing that stuff, unless I'm actively moving forward, then there will be no opportunity for luck. So I recognize something like deserve, something like luck, are actually something we create for ourselves by trying stuff, by working at it, and being able to see when those things are there. Being able to discard the stuff that doesn't work and not think of it as a failure, but just something we tried. You know the guy who invented post-it notes was actually trying to invent a proper glue? You know, he could be sitting in a corner licking his wounds saying, I really messed up there, didn't I? You know, that glue just doesn't work. But we got post-it notes out of it. You, he could be a failure in one eye, but in another, or oh, actually a lot of people don't like post-it notes, but if you like post-it notes, you know, he's a pretty cool guy. So luck, deserving, success, failure, all of those things are actually all in your head. Now you spoke to me five years ago, you wouldn't get any of the positive stuff, <laughs> you know. I was getting what I deserved. My life was hell, miserable, I hated everything, including myself. Mostly myself, actually. I didn't hate other people. I couldn't see why anybody would like me, because that's the way my world was. I couldn't have got out of that on my own. I had help. We need help to move on from these things. But anyway, so that's my thought of the day. That's why I don't like the word